Well, hello everybody. How is everybody doing out there? I have a Black Friday thrift haul to show you guys. I did a um, online purchase of a local thrift store and got some really fabulous deals. So um, why don't you go grab a drink, pull up a chair, and let's get into this. Okay. Oh, goodness. I hope your day is going much better than mine has went. Because let me tell you, it has been a testament to my patience. So, um, you know, dealing with difficult people is never easy. Um, I always try to... Um, Stay professional, but you know, at some point you have to tell some individuals there is no I in team, and it's not always all about them, it's about making sure your customer is happy. So, have y'all ever had to deal with people like that? I, I just, the older I get, the less patience I have for people like that. And I recorded this video already and only found out when I went to upload it that the settings on my phone changed during the last update and it it just was a hot mess when I tried to upload it. I mean, you would have, you would have been seeing my face like way up here. Nobody wants to see me like that, okay? <laughs> so, anyway, enough about that. My hair... You know, it's time for a haircut, so we'll get, we're just going to ignore all this and focus on the goodies, okay? So, let me tell you, the best part about this haul was um, I got to shop from home, and it was all ready when I went and picked it up. Um, I had two big totes, so I'm not going to show you everything, because that would just take forever. Um... But I did um, pull probably about mm, half of it to show you. And, um, you know, as with any other haul, anything you see that you are interested in, you can always email me at bayoubelleventiques at gmail.com. Otherwise, keep an eye on my Etsy store and also keep an eye on my district store. Yes. I am now selling on District. I am selling on the Reseller Information Network um, on District. So you will see in my Instagram posts uh, some of those items getting shared there um, to where you can go directly and apply. But you can also um, check my links. There should be links to my District store. And um, I believe that link also includes a $5 off coupon. So... If you haven't been shopping on District, you should. There's a lot of cool stuff out there. You know, a lot of really great sellers. Um, as you know, Missy has her store. Uh, Jocelyn has her store. Reseller information. Everybody has store. So, I always just say, browse across all of them. Support your fellow resellers. Support your fellow friends. Because really, at the end of the day, it's all about supporting small business. And that's the best thing we can all do, right? Okay, so enough about that. Let's get into the haul. So, I found a Napier bag. It's a bank. And it comes unlatched there, and it would come apart. It's got all these little jewels on it. And if you remember, I found um, the bunny not too long ago. So now we have the pig, the jeweled pig. Isn't that cute? And I also got one of these, this little yo-yo doll. She's in really great condition. There's no stains. Um, a lot of times, you know, when you find these things in the thrift store, 
or auction lots that are like really, really dirty or stained, this, this gal is in really fantastic condition. You hear her growling. Good Lord, that dog. You cannot walk by my house. You cannot be a squirrel in the yard. You cannot do anything. Hold on, let me shush them. Oh my goodness. I tell her to hush and she barks back at me like a little sassy little thing. Just rotten, rotten to the core. I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> bah! It's hair. Uh, let's see. Oh, I also got this little Napco dog. It's called the Begging Poodle with the jeweled eyes. It's in great condition, no chips or cracks. Must be Amazon out there or something. I don't know. She just. I don't know. What do you guys do to keep your dogs from barking all the time? Because I have yet to figure out what to do with this dog. Alright. Then we got this itty bitty, itty bitty frog. So. Um, I have a ton of miniatures that I need to get listed, um, as with anything, I have a ton of everything that needs to be listed one day. <laughs> uh, I'll get caught up one day. So. Uh, not complaining, because I know a lot of people have had trouble sourcing. Um, I, I am blessed. I will tell you, I am blessed. Okay. Also got these little squirrel, or, it's not a squirrel, jeez, Lord help, skunks, these are little skunks, those were really cute, I'm surprised they weren't broken or chipped because they're just in this little baggie, I'm not going to complain though because I got some fabulous deals. And when I say fabulous deals, I mean some fabulous deals. Pretty much think everything I got was like under $5 or less. So, I'm not going to complain. Um, better than thrift store prices at the thrift store, right? So, tilt you around a little bit. Alright, let's see. What else? Oh, yeah. There was... Uh, there's two shakers, and if you know my shaker saga, I have three, no, probably four big totes of shakers. So I didn't need any shakers, but I could not resist these guys. Look at these. No chips, no cracks. I don't know who made them. Uh, I figure they are a Japan, though, more than likely, but they're really cute. Uh, I don't know if she's still barking. I don't know. How many of y'all have dogs? Or do you just have cats? I have um, three cats and two dogs. Yeah. So, that's a lot of fun. Um, I have a uh, mini Aussie. Actually, we determined she's a toy Aussie, not a mini, because she's um, actually smaller than a mini. And she likes to herd the cats, and she likes to herd one cat in particular, my little tiny black cat, and I don't know, she gets all bent out of shape if this cat is anywhere where she thinks she shouldn't be. So next thing I know, she's trying to herd her like she's cattle. And then I have Jack Russell, who is, you always hear her, she's bossy, 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 but a very sweet dog. Anyway, y'all don't care about my dogs. <laughs> um, next I have, and this is bigger than I thought it was going to be, but it's still really good. This is a sculpture. Uh, it's a, a Disney Kingdom sculpture um, by um, John Raya of a Coyote. And look, he's begging. Isn't he adorable? 
I have only seen a couple of these come up for sale. So I'm going to have to do a little research and decide what I'm going to um, price him at. But he has no chips, no cracks. He is artist signed as well as with a sticker. And if you like Disney or if you like have a Southwest type decor, he, he is perfect. He is, he is just adorable. I love little dorky figures. Okay, then I got a owl trinket box. That. I get that. Um, and then I have, and I've got, I'm going to have to repair this. Um, this was Commonwealth Department of Labor is what this was. So, but look at him. Isn't he adorable? He is so 60s kitsch. I can't stand it. So I do need to fix his nose. But other than that, he has no stains, no um, rips, tears, nothing. He, he's fabulous. He, he's super cute. Um, if baby face sees him, she'll want him. And I know I'm still trying to figure out what happened with this camera. So it's got this auto focus and frame thing. So you might see me, you know, a little bit. I don't know. All right. I'm an IT person and I don't know what happened, but I honestly just didn't have time to mess with it because I wanted to get this video out because there are things I want to list. Alrighty, next I have these Pixie, Japan Pixie Thanksgiving Pixies. That's just cute. Still has a sticker on it. I don't have the Thanksgiving one, so I don't know. I don't know. I may keep those. I don't know. I guess I have till next Thanksgiving to make a decision, don't I? <laughs> you can't keep everything. That's that's what I've been saying. So I I, I am being rather aggressive lately. I'm trying to get through. I I have a pretty large, some people call them death piles, I call it a profit pile, um, down in the basement to list, but I have been looking around and decided it is time to start streamlining some of my collections. So you will start seeing fairy lamps, you will start seeing swung bases, um, probably some paperweights. I mean, you cannot keep everything, and I and trying to get back to my true loves of collecting, which are antiques um, and European pieces. Because um, as you know, you know, um, living in Europe for so many years, I have a great fondness and appreciation of um, foreign pieces, mainly the antiques. So, so I'm trying to, um, you know, get a little realistic. Because honestly, if you collect a lot of something, it becomes a problem to display it. And it starts looking like clutter. So, I would rather share with somebody who's trying to add to their collection or start a collection. And, um, you know, have less for my family to deal with at some point. And also, um, you know, my husband and I have talked about downsizing and um, moving closer to uh, my older daughter and the grandbaby. But um, I had to, you know, kind of get realistic in, in what I want to keep because I don't think I want to buy as big of a house again. Um, you know, because it's just, it's a lot to pack, a lot, to, a lot to deal with. So anyway, enough of that. Let's get back to the haul. I also got this, um, little celluloid Hong Kong Santa. Um, super, super cute. No chips or cracks. Um... I 
also got, and this was $5. I'm not kidding you. Um, this is a piece of Viking glass. It is the uh, Amberina Six Petal Compo. It's a smaller one. So perfect size, you know, if you're in an apartment or you can stack these with the um, different colors. Um, I think I have the amethyst in this size. So great size. Um, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's perfect for 4th of July, for Christmas, for Valentine's Day, anytime. And, you know, with a black light, it's gonna, it's gonna glow. So, I don't have the black light up here right now, so I can't show you that. Alrighty. And then I also got this piece of Czech Tango glass. Again, a really, really nice piece. Really nice, smooth, polished bottom and the black and white which is really classic so that will be going up for sale um, let's see all right um something else that i got was this new old stock latch hook it's an owl Really cute. Um, will be a perfect gift for somebody who likes to craft. And I'm trying to shove it back in. I'm trying to shove it back in the tub and it just won't go. You know, why is it? Every time you unpack something, it just doesn't go back to where it's supposed to go. Right? Anyway, whatever. And I need to go short shopping. For those of you who have been wondering, uh, I think my weight loss is now down to 30 pounds. So I'm pretty excited with progress that I'm making. I've been having to go shopping for more clothes, which is always fun, but it also means I gotta clean out my closet, which is not fun. <laughs> All right, so I also got these um, they're called Majestic Wilderness, and they're by Hallmark, um, but they're really, really pretty. They're a little miniature, like this one's a bear. And, you know, on the video, this video is all over the place because I am just rambling, you guys. It's like, whatever. Uh... Re-recording this is kind of throwing me off because I'm just like, I'm sure there's something I told you in the first one that I've forgotten. But it is what it is and we roll with it. We don't pitch a fit, right? Then we have a raccoon. That's pretty. and they're in their boxes as well. Um, and the last one I got, it's probably my favorite. It's this owl, snowy owl. I do have an owl that likes to hang out behind my house. Um, one year, um, like my, my back deck is um, on the main level which would be from the back side of the house considered the second level. But um, he was up on the roof line and I went out to let the dogs out and I looked up. I, I am not kidding you. Have you ever seen an owl up close? This freaking thing was, he was big. He was really big. I was just like, calling my mom over because it was like right around Christmas. I was like, holy shoot. I, man, it was big, it was cool. And of course it ran off, flew off. Good birds don't run. Flew off before I could get a picture of him. But I, oh uh, man. So now I hear him some nights, um, I'll hear him hooing 
So his, my bedroom is up on this side and I know he's up on my gutters again because when he takes off, I'm gonna tell you, sounds like my gutters are being ripped off. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so this next thing I got um, is, these are little carvings and they're tag, tagu, tagu, tagua, but they are carved from uh, a South American palm. And when it's polished, it looks like ivory. It is not ivory, okay, it's vegan, no animals. But this is a little card that came in there. But they're little, um, they're, they're little houses, kind of like, uh, okay, so they're South American, but you know, you could also say, you know, like Southwest, um, like Adobe style. So there's a whole little village of these guys. Get that. I think that was just like a couple dollars. And then in that same bag, and I'm trying to put this in here because I am totally blind right now because I don't have my glasses on. Somewhere. Excuse my mumbling, you guys. Sorry. So, in here was also um, this little brass, mini brass set. I guess it could be considered um, a dollhouse, but I, th I believe it was made in Jerusalem because there's only a partial sticker under it. But it had a little tray. Check that out. So... You've got, I guess, the coffee pot, and the little lid comes off. Well, or it could be a teapot. And I'm guessing this was a sugar because it's got a lid on it as well. So, it's a little brass set. Well, that was cute. And everything is cute. We need a drinking game for every time a reseller says the word cute because. Whatever. All right. Then, um, let's see, I want to show you next. Then I got, um, there were a bunch of linens. So, I have, like I said, there's a whole nother tote full of stuff. Um, and in that tote are, I got some, uh, George Briard geranium glasses, a nine piece set that last sold I think for a hundred dollars and I want to say I paid like 16 for the set but and then there's a whole nother bag of linens it, it it's a lot it was a lot guys but look at that look at that little children's handkerchief I thought that was really precious and then there was um, this this is an alpaca scarf that was in there. There were some Italian silk scarves, like this one. Um, there were tablecloths in there. And let's see. There's this little Christmas, this vintage Christmas one, which is a shame I did not go through all this sooner because I could have listed that. <laughs> um, I am honestly probably done listing my Christmas because it's, you know, it's not going to get there, you know, in time for Christmas, but I am trying to get everything reorganized and sorted because I, I I have tubs and tubs and tubs of Christmas guys it's ridiculous but I've been trying to go through everything and kind of separate out the I, I have almost a t full tub of crafting type vintage Christmas 
So, um, and then I have a, a lot of ephemera that I have not even started going through. So, trying before July rolls around, have all of that at least organized in one place, separated out from the stuff that I want to keep. So, as I pull down my tubs, I'm going through and picking what I want to keep, what I'm ready to let go of, and, um, you know, letting go of those pixie uh, Dutch shoe elves was really, really hard because I can't find those anywhere else. So, it was really, really tempting because I do collect pixies. But I decided to focus more on the small pixies that I could like mix in with different holiday displays because like I said before, it gets, it gets to be a lot. And I still have, I have chained pixies. I have a really big planter, uh, a, like she's one of those sitting, she's really big. Um, I need a lister. <laughs> oh, anyway. Then I got this scarf. And what, the reason I got this scarf is, look, it has little cats in the windows. It has people and it has flowers, but it's got these little cats. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I have that. Um, I have another wool scarf. Um, oh, we have strawberry shortcake. Hand towel. I think it's uh, in like new condition. I don't know. There were uh, runners in this lot as well. Some little um, doilies in there. And there was this apron. I love this apron. It's so pretty. No tears, no stains. Look at this. Isn't that really pretty? I did really, really well with these sheer aprons. Um, they usually sell fairly quickly after they get listed. Um, I just sold the black one the other day, um, which, you know, I thought was perfect for Halloween. All right, then my absolute favorite out of this linen lot was this um, runner, this tapestry runner. Isn't that stunning with the tassels on it? I really like that. So and it's got the nice velvet backing on it. Um, I really thought about keeping it, but you know, my cats um, like to lay on everything. And, and don't worry, all of this stuff goes straight down to my basement. It is in tubs that my cats are not allowed anywhere around it. So if you're allergic to cats, my cats are never on any of this stuff. My cats have been banned from my basement, in fact. Um, there are also vintage sheets in here. There are vintage um, towels in here. So um, there's tablecloths. There's another runner, um, another like uh, uh, European style runner in here. And another old bag down the stairs, like I said. So, um, so I'm not going to show you all of that stuff. I'm just going to have to stay tuned uh, and see what shows up in the store. Because I'm mean. I'm just kidding. Alrighty. Um, there were also brooches. So, there was this little rose gold tone and there was this enamel flower brooch um 
Then there were these two, um, I know this is a German city, but um, these are older. But look at these. They're deer. They're both the same, but they're older. You can tell, like, by their class. So, I did pick up those because we like deer, right? Um, but it's like a, the writing is in the Mother of Pearl, and um, they're silver tone. So, that. Um, and then I got this cute little child spoon. This is a Bakelite handle. It's got a cat on it because we have to have cats. And then I got, um, these vintage buttons and I don't know. I'll have to see if any of these are Bakelite because it is possible, but they are, um, of critters. There are pencils, there's bears, there's birds, there's horses, um, windmill, there's just all kinds of, and they were children's buttons, vintage children's buttons. I think, what is that one? I think that's a little dog on there. So, those would be really cute for a craft project, I thought. Um, so yeah, I have to test those and see if any of them are Bakelite because they, honestly, they could be some of these butterscotch ones. It's possible. They're certainly old enough. I think, um, I think these are bears. Right here. So we had that. Um, then we also have this, um, Sisters of the Sage, 1969 pin back. So, this is an older piece. So, if you like advertising, that's a great piece. And I got one of my favorite things, and I only found one of these listed and it was several years back, but it indicated it was an old hospital, I think, in Ohio. I want to say it was probably a Catholic church. Um, could be wrong, but I got this whole bag under $5 of these vintage hand puppets. So, one of them is... A nurse could be a doctor but I think back then they were mainly nurses um, then where's this one only two of them had damage out of the whole group um, and it's not terrible damage I could probably pop her face back out but I don't know I have to see there was that one um, then there were two of these, and I think this is the only one that I found listed anywhere was the nun. That's why I was thinking it's probably Catholic. There's two nuns, but they're like, um, they're not, it's not plastic, but it's not composite. I don't really know what those faces are. They're not rubber. I don't know, I guess composite. Um, so there were two like that, then one nun in the blue and this one is the only one that has a date on it from 1967 so these are these are old um and then there there are two uh candy stripers i guess like that so i thought those were absolutely adorable there's hardly any damage to them. I thought they were handmade, but when I found that one listing, I mean, they they could have been machine. I don't know. There are no tags in them to indicate they were like mass produced. 
but I mean, th this was the only other one that was damaged. See, like her face was smushed in, but I think she was the only one with any real noticeable staining to her. And even that is not, I mean, it's not bad from 1967. So I, I'm gonna have to do a little research on them. I have no idea what to um, list them as, but I do think they're pretty special. Um, I've never seen them before. And like I said, I only found one old sold comp for them which I thought was kind of interesting. So it made me wonder if they were given out to like patients or something, maybe children. Um, I don't know. If any of you guys have seen them, let me know, okay? And then the last item that I'm gonna show you um, is my absolute favorite and I am probably gonna keep this one um, because And I said it was going to last item. There is one more. Don't oh, know. Good lord. Where did it get put? Well, I don't know. I'll have to show y'all a picture of that later. Um, I did get a micro mosaic. I do not know where I put it because I had to go round and round with the thrift store when I picked it up because I could not even, I couldn't find the thing. Um, and we were, oh, here it is. Nope, that's not it. We were a little concerned that somebody had sticky fingers. So, but it was wrapped up in the most annoying place ever. It was wrapped in this thing. So I'm, I'm like trying to search through everything I got. And like I said, it was two big tubs. I couldn't search at the thrift store because it was just absolute insanity. So I was trying to look when I got home, make sure, of course, I had everything. <sighs> so anyway. Um, this one I'm probably going to keep, though, because I do love these, and they're so hard to find. They're so hard to get at an affordable price. I don't have this one. Um, I can't remember if Katie's was like this. I don't, uh, The red had me thinking it was, but I'm not. 100% sure I'll have to go back and look at her video, but it is a um, bridal rosette, and when I say bridal, I'm not talking about wedding, I'm talking about a horse bridal. These would have went on the side of the um, horse bridal, um, either near the bit or up towards the ears, but it is a converted rosette. It's been converted to a brooch. It would have had... Um, metal here that the leather strap would have went through. But look how pretty that is. It's in amazing condition. And I think I got that thing for $3. So I'm going to have to enjoy it for a little bit. Um, I might let it go. I don't know. I'm just, I, that's a hard one to let go. I also got two other things when I was looking for that brooch. I found the one of the other ones. This is a little tin litho. It's a German tin litho car. Perfect condition. No dents. Paint is an amazing condition as well. It rolls. I love it. I love it. I have a weakness for these tin lithos. And that's the first one I found that small. All right, guys, the last thing I found, and it was the brooch after I, I am not kidding, I searched this box four times, four times looking for this thing. You would have thought <laughs> something this valuable they would have put in with the other jewelry. I don't know what they were thinking, but 
Anyway, I found it, and it is a micro mosaic pen. Isn't that cute? Small. It's really, really small. It's an older one. You can see where the um, safety pen has been used on it. But I just love these. And again, this was at an unbelievable deal. I mean, I'm telling you the cost average for everything was $6 or under. So I was really happy with my finds. Um, I hope you saw something in there that you might be interested in because the majority of this is coming to my Etsy store or it may be coming to my district store. I'll have to uh, sort through and make some decisions on what's going where. But if you saw something that you're interested in, you can always email me at buyubellventiques at gmail.com and we can discuss a price. And I can tell you, those who have purchased from me directly, you will get a much better deal through a direct purchase than when you than when it gets listed. Not to say I don't want your traffic on my sites. I certainly do. Um, like I said, I would encourage you, if you have not been to District, um, go out there, take a look. Um, I am just now getting started with some of my listings, but if you'd like advertising and ephemera, that is where most of that kind of stuff will end up going, as well as some more of my unusual pieces. Um, and some of my glass may end up there. Um, you know, kind of got to um, put all your eggs in one basket, so they say. Uh, divvy things up. And, um, you know, it's... Uh, some of the longer tail items, I think, are better on District than they are on Etsy. But, you know, who knows? Like I said, anything you like, you need to reach out. Um, for those of you who are aware, I will make my annual trek to Alabama. So, um, if you see something that you want, be sure that you are talking to me um, before next Friday because otherwise I am going to be popping in and out for the holiday. Um, yeah, I'll have a, a few days that I'll be traveling, so no shipping on those days. And always keep in mind, it is the holiday season, so shop early, ship early, because um, there are deadlines. I think, what, the 16th is the postal deadline this year? And even then, I think the 16th is really pushing it. You might not get it for um, ground advantage. Um, I'm just saying, and, and I'm hearing some cases where priority has not always even been making it in time. So, anyway, I hope y'all are getting ready for your holiday. And with that, stay tuned because I do have another thrifting haul to share with you before we get ready for Christmas. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye.